Hey guys, Ads here, and uh, yeah, so I haven't done a vid in ages, as you may notice. My mic is new, it's a, it's a Triton, um, if that's how you pronounce it, it's a Triton AX180 headset. Uh, so yeah, I hope it's okay. Um, uh, I did a test recording earlier, it sounded alright. Uh, detects background noise a little bit in previous recording, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, let's get started today's video. Today's video is going to be about uh, like a little dark RP tip, uh, making a decent base. Uh, so as you see, I'm on uh, RP underscore Evil Melon underscore V2, I think it is, and I'm in the subway. If I go out here and I look around, see it's a subway. It's pretty damn dark as well, which puts people off. And uh, this is kind of a secret room. I don't know if you know it or not, but yeah. Alright, let's get started with the base. I'm also going to save this upwards, so I've got to make sure it's good. Alright, so first you want to get this, uh, the fence gates. Turn it around, put it against the door. Get another fence gate. Do exactly the same thing. This is called double dooring. Basically makes it so they can't lockpick through. As uh, the second one shuts after the first, uh, yeah, I'll demonstrate later. Right, and then materialize them. The uh, material you want is your choice, and it will do. I like this blue, it's quite nice. Alright, I'm going with the blue theme here. Alright, then we want barricades. Uh, let's line it up with this line here. Alright, that's barricade number one, and we're going to get three layers of protection right here. The next one, I'm going to turn upside down, and then put next to it, if I can get there. Uh, there we are, right, pretty much. Alright, that's the next layer, and then again, just normal, pack it in like that. As you see now, it gives us three layers of defense, the bullet can only go through two of which, so yeah, we're pretty safe in that note. Uh, right. Alright, now we want to do our shooting window. Again, turn this around, materialize it first if you really like to. I would quite like to do that, so I'm going to do that. Uh, and of course, to get it in the, where these gaps are, you see these two gaps, we're going to get two sets of these within those gaps. So, yep. So we want to obviously grab the no collide tool. No collide that with that. Make sure it touches the ceiling so no grenades can get in. Alrighty. Line it up. I'm a, I'm a bit disappointed that this server doesn't have a precision tool, but you got to live with what you got. Alright, that looks about right. Just line it up now. Push it forward slightly. Oh, it's so annoying. It'll be so fast with precision tool. Is that in? <sighs> Almost. I'm very precise with building on this server, I have to be. It's gotta be in. Nope. Nope. Oh, right. Okay, I'm gonna skip through this part and uh, I'll show you what the finished result is. Back in one sec. Alrighty, so I am back. Uh, let me just readjust my microphone. Right, okay, yeah, right. Alright. So, yeah. Right, so this is uh, what we have now. This is our uh, soon to be shooting window once I put the fading doors on. Uh, as you see, two layers in the gaps here. Um, and basically, they're just going to stop bullets. So, if someone tries to uh, shoot through, it's going to go through one but not the other. So, you're going to be perfectly safe, safe standing here until you. Uh, press a button to make the fading doors come down. Alright, so next we're going to work on our entrance to our base, because obviously your base needs an entrance, otherwise it's classified as prop. Alrighty, so let's get our material that we like. Alright, oh shit, it needs turning around. Alright. Ah, right, come on. That'll do, that'll do. Right. Alright, let me just move it to the side so I can get round. Okay. I'm gonna collide this with there. Just do what I'm doing. Snow collide it with pretty much everything on this uh, 
right hand side and uh, make sure you just align it so it kind of corners and uh, these the shooting window because we don't want any grenades getting over yep that'll do that looks nice uh, all right next door this one around right here this is kind of go this is going to be part of our fading door to get in but you'll see what the trick is here as well it kind of like uh, it's like a double door but it kind of works because it betrays um, the guy the raiders mind it makes them look uh, seem as if they can get through it makes them think they can get through um, but they actually can't so it delays them a bit they think they can lock the kit but they really can't it gives you more time to shoot them basically but to be honest if you're staying here this base is practically unraidable unless they shoot you before you shoot them uh, all right get a material and this time we only have to no collide it so it, we, uh, it only no collides with this one because here what's good about this base it's got a load of squares on the floor so i can see just about how much uh, a player can squeeze through and it's about two and a half to two and three quarter squares so basically what we want to do here we want to just bring it over that only by a tablet that should do it see where I cannot get through anymore so uh, players once they pick lock this door which is going to be here in a second uh, they're going to think they can get through it and they're going to try and walk through it that you have more time to even shoot them so uh, yeah so it, and if they work it out they're going to have to keep our crack anyway and that's easy to spot so oh that wasn't on the ground apparently right straighten this up I'm going to show you everything that I do here so you get it right alright that's roughly it okay straighten that one up a little bit that'll do Alright, onto this door. This will also be the other half of our fading door. Uh, again, material. Nuclide. Sorry, this is taking like long than, longer than it would really take to build a base on another server. As I mentioned before, it's just because there's no precision or stack at all. It's really annoying. And I like to be really neat and precise with my bases, so this is how long it takes to base, but luckily we've got advanced duplicate. no not advanced duplicator, wait do we? Yeah we do have advanced duplicator, that's pretty good, we just don't have the duplicator tool. Uh, but yeah, so we can save ghosts of our bases, which I'm gonna do at the end of this video, because I haven't saved the ghost of this base yet. Alright, so this is the final part of our door, right. And obviously now we're going to need to put fading door on it. You guys should know how to do that. I'm going to do mine to five with uh, it clear. So that one and that one. So you see as I open it now, it makes it a clear path to walk through. But, oh sorry, it's on toggle. Oops. Da, da. Okay. Right. Okay, yep, yeah, big enough to walk through. But if I were to uh, pick this door here at the end... You see, I've got a master lock picks, which is quick. There, I cannot walk through, and he'll think he can, so he'll try, but you can shoot him at that moment. And then, uh, he'll probably, if he's not worked it out already, he'll try this door, which is the middle door. And obviously, this won't work either, because you've got this, this door and this door blocking it, and you can't get through there. And then he'll try this door, which isn't even a fading door, so he's screwed, and then he'll realise to keep our crack. So yeah, let's put a keypad up for him to crack. Alright. Uh, that's not my normal code, by the way, just then. Oops, not drive, disable collisions. Just that's, uh, just so, you know, if someone gets stuck in it, it's slightly unfair, and if you get stuck in it, it's even worse. But yep, yeah. alright, that's one. Here's the other, do exactly the same. Alright, so this is this door set up. We might as well do this one while we're here. Oops, I forgot I'm not on fading door. <laughs> alright, this one and this one. Like so. Keypad. And I told you earlier how this is going to work. I think so anyway. 
Okay, and this is the same double door. I'll show you what happens when they try and pick this, just in case you don't know. See, they can't get through because it's double door. And then they'll try to pick this one, but as they're picking it, the other one comes back. And so, there, yeah, see, you can't do shit from there. Alright. Alright, that's that bit done. Now it's just fin finishing touches. Of course, we need to put fading doors in our shooting window. So I'll just bind it to seven. It's so easy. Go around here as well. Okay. Alright, so seven. As you see, it sh you can shoot through. Uh, but it's easier to use a button. So if you, uh, I really bound it to seven shooting window, whatever you want to label it. Don't want it on toggle mode. Don't put it on toggle mode. And then I use choose the lever. Like that. Also, disable the collisions, you don't want to get stuck on that and then shot in the face, that would be uh, bad news, and you'd have a bad time. So yeah, there you go. And uh, all you have to do, you have to just hold E on the button, and you can shoot whilst you hold E, as you see there. Uh, so yeah, and because the bad thing about leaving it on toggle is uh, if you forget to turn it off again, you can get shot in the face. Right. Again, finishing touches, as I said earlier, we don't want grenades coming in here. So as you see, there's a gap here. We don't want this gap. So all we do, we're going to bring this fence here. We're going to materialise it to something simple like this. I like this texture. And we're just going to bring it over here and then just layer it so it just sits like that. Uh, it just seals it so no grenades can come in. And we're also going to give this a fading door of number 5. Because that's our entry. So it's just, you know. Alright, and you can still get to this. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's it, pretty much. Now I've just got to weld it, all of this crap together. Which I won't show you in the video because it's a bit pointless and it's uh, boring. So yeah, that's about it. So all you do, you get your gun. I'm just going to use my Glock, for example. This is a shit gun. Uh, but as you see in my inventory, I got a hell of a lot more. PKMs, M4A1. Uh, these are awesome. They're really good for defending. They kill in like two hits. And they fast really fast. Uh, they what? They f they fire really fast. And of course the M60 is a bit like the PKM. Uh, which is good. Um, and also if you have this drug mod, uh, you can have uh, morphine. And that gives you 300 health for a certain period of time. Uh, so if you're getting raided, you can just eat one of them and you'll be epic. So yeah, this is pretty much it. So basically, they're going to have to to raid you. They're going to have to cr crack this and you see it takes a fucking long time. Look, and it makes a huge noise. They're going to get through here, they're going to have to do it again, but they have to turn their backs on you. That's when you open the uh, the fading door and shoot them in the back. And uh, they die, or they'll hesitate, like most people on this on this server does, and they'll uh, open this door and they'll just kind of jig like this, and then you can, j but you can still get a perfect line of sight right down that hallway, which is brilliant on this base. So yeah, that's how to make a very efficient and compact base on Gary's mod. Uh, it hasn't failed me yet, um, and I've made 13 million dollars using this. Uh, but yeah, just remember just to stay guard. If you go up, uh, if you just walk away, then raiding will be a hell of a lot easier because you won't be around to defend. But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to leave comments about my new headset, uh, the Tritons. Um, do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, I'm not going to change it, but, you know, I like to hear what you think. Um, also, do you think my videos are too lengthy? Uh, would you like me to shorten them or compact them? Uh, and yeah, so until next time guys, um, see you then.